Hello, what is up guys, Games with Station back again here today with another Call of Duty Ghost video. But today I'm going to be discussing how to rank up fast in Call of Duty Ghosts. This is a big question that a lot of people are, are wondering about because um, I see all these people with these really high ranks and you know good stats and they're wondering how they get them. Today I'm here to give you tips and tricks on how to rank up fast. So my number one tip would be uh, about game modes. A lot of you guys are wondering probably what game mode you should be playing. Um, I definitely recommend... So, by far, everyone knows that Search and Destroy and Search and Rescue, you know, they give you good points and stuff, but it's always annoying if you die, you know, you have to respawn, and it gets annoying. So, people are wondering, well, there are any other game modes out there that you can, uh, you, you can rank up pretty fast in. So, today, I'm going to give you alternative game modes other than Search and Destroy and Search and Rescue. The first one, really, really the only one that has to be cranked, because... Once you start, once you get cranked, every kill is 200 points. I think it actually goes up to 400 points a kill. And in the gameplay, I'll, as you can see, you guys will be seeing, I'll get some crazy points per kill for some reason later on in this gameplay. But, uh, yeah, you get ranked up really fast and cranked, and you don't have to wait to, you know, for rounds if you die. You could just respawn, go, go back in the game. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, now, as far as what guns you should be using, and today, right here, I used a shotgun in the beginning of the game. But, uh, sorry, I had the hiccups there. Um, but, uh, uh, you guys should probably, on most maps, you be using assault rifles for, for, for uh, cranked. Just because of the fact that uh, a lot of these maps are mid to, to long range maps, just like TDM maps, because the same amount of people. But uh, I'm using a shotgun here. Just to, I was trying to be different, you know, trying to experiment, do something new. The, I haven't seen a lot of people doing shotgun gameplays, so I'd use it in the beginning. But individually, I realized I'm not even too good with it, so I switch over to another class that I definitely recommend: is the uh, Remington RS and the Red Dot Sight and the Silencer. And uh, definitely need that perk right there. That you guys just saw uh, to uh, reload quick. Um, I think it's called. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sliding. I always forget the perks, guys. I I am so sorry, but I, I cannot remember the perk names for my life. And then I start using the M Tarx. We're here for a little. Uh, it, I definitely recommend this gun. I didn't do too well in this gameplay. I should have done better, but uh, yeah. I mean, I I didn't do too great. I'm using the M Tarx here. I mean, it's a really good class. I, I got this class from Ali A. He he uh had a video up and showed this class, and I thought it was really good. And I also use the AK-12, which is another really good class. I definitely recommend you guys check out. So, uh, anyways, yeah, those are basically my tips for ranking up fast. Cranked, uh, use assault rifles and cranked, and uh, always go for assists and go for helping your team. You know, you get Call of Duty has gotten way better at rewarding you for helping your team. It's not just all about you now. It's about helping your team, helping your team out more like Battlefield 4. And you get a lot more points for that now. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you guys play cranked help your team try to help go go for the team and uh yeah use assault rifles and close be smart about what you use make and make sure you're prepared for close range combat and yeah so thank you guys for watching and you guys can just enjoy the rest of this gameplay peace out Detonation in five. Enemy satcom spotted. Satcom up link enabled. Cranked. Enemy Satcom spotted. Nice work, team. Well done.